I always enjoy making toy videos for you guys, hoping that I'm helping you out, but I also especially enjoy making them when I can fix something around my house at the same time. And today's Toy Review Tuesday video features just that. So let's get started, roll the intro. It's pretty windy out today, but really nice and sunny. I'm gonna actually stand in front of my work corner using the natural sun. Normally I have my lights up here, but I like this bright light right here. So yeah, I'm gonna show you. Today's tool is the Bosch STS Plus Bulldog Bit. This is, I think Bosch is just kind of known for being prolific when it comes to making awesome drill bits for concrete. The great thing about this bit is when I'm drilling into my port wall basement, I could potentially hit some rebar, but this won't jam when it hits it. It'll just keep going on. There's somewhere between my foundation underground and to the well. Something happened to it, it must have corroded or something or broke. So a well guy came out in the winter time, put a new line on top of the ground. Let me just show you real quick instead of trying to explain it. Right there is my well, and what they did is they buried it underground two feet, but they came up over here on the surface, and then it's running over here to my sidewalk. And then for temporary power, I just drilled a hole underneath the siding right there. So I'm gonna actually move it over here and drill a hole down two feet from that level right there. So I have to dig that out first. Right there, I have a little mark on the foundation. So from this point, I have to go down two feet. Almost there. In case you ever wonder what clay looks like, you can make powder out of this stuff. And then the tool that I'm gonna use to power this bit right here is this Makita right here. It's a SDS Plus hammer drill. I went down about 24 inches. I'm hoping I have enough clearance. Uh, I'm gonna have to just scrape that up a little more right there. Shoot. Not a whole lot. Hammer, run forward. This thing's gonna get a little dirty. All right, should get a breather mask. Oh man, it gets, that gets tired. All right. Well, I'm not sure if I'm through or not. I'm gonna clean the dust out a little bit and then just see if, if I can get that all the way in. Here's what it looks like. Working really well. through Woo. I'm through yes that felt good all right I could have hired a wall guy to do this but when you can do it yourself it's an awesome feeling the hole's been drilled I've got a lot of dirt to put back and then the next thing I have to do is use this trench shovel right here and then just do a trench Somehow get underneath that sidewalk and then go to the well right there. All right, that'll be, I'm guessing a couple hours, but it'll be worth it. It's gonna feel good to finally get this 12 gauge wire buried. It was just temporary, but now it's gonna be underground here soon. So right now I want to get to a short clip in Atlanta where I was at the Home Depot Prospective event and Bosch is there showing how awesome this drill bit is and the test that they put it through. Something much better than I can do, so let's go to that clip. 
Does the extreme goes for rebar and yes, concrete? Exactly. Okay. Right. okay. Okay, are we good? Do I have you for a few few minutes? Are we good? Yeah. Quick. Can okay, we do quick. a quick one? Give me a quick one. Give me a quick. So what we have here is, um, this is what our competitors sell. Like it's the industry standard. It's a board cutter. So what you have is two two inserts of carbide. One going this way, one going this way. Um, and what we have over here is the Bosch full head extreme carbide. And what we do here is we take a full head of carbide instead of these inserts. We have the full head and we bond it to the, the, the body using the fusion bonding special glue, um, it's a proprietary process we have and it gives us four, five times the life in concrete rebar. You notice it says four, we've actually moved up to five because we used to have this from five thirty seconds in diameter bit all the way up to five eighths, but now we've expanded that to all the way up to an inch and an eighth. So when I say an inch and an eighth, where's that, you have that bit? Right yeah. here. So this is wow. how big we've gotten it to. So you can see there's a full head of carbide and the reason we've gotten that, that claim up from four to five is we've been, um, improved our bonding process. So that special glue, it's gonna be that stronger bond. And so, we talk about durability, there's really three things that kill a bit, right? So when drilling concrete, there's one, there's rebar, you encounter rebar, it sh like your, your head could shatter. Two would be abrasive, you drill multiple holes, it wears down the carbide. And then three would be heat, that kills every bit, right? Um, so we, we stand up to that, like, if you look on the screen, I know there's a glare. You can see the competitor to is on the left, their full head, versus the Bosch Bulldog Extreme on the right. And you can see, when we go head to head, ours holds up and there's shatters. That's due to the fusion bonding on the top of the top, five times the left. So that's, that's one thing that'll kill a bit. The second thing is abrasion. So we go look over here. When you drill through concrete multiple times, you really wear down the carbide head. What we've got here to simulate multiple holes is an industrial abrasive grinding wheel. And what Joe's gonna do here is drill through this for about 15 seconds to simulate about a thousand holes in concrete. So you can see him really wearing that, wearing it down, trying to break down that carbide. There you go. So he pulls it out. You can see it's kind of polished and the carbide's getting worn down a little bit, but the, the head is fully intact, right? So that bit's fine. So the third thing I was talking about is heat. So we step back here. What we got here is an induction heat gun. And what we're going to do is heat this bit up like way past the limits you'd see on a job site. We're going to heat it up thousands of degrees. And we're going to drone a concrete and see how it does. So it's going to take a few seconds. What you're going to do is you'll, you'll see it start to smoke as some of that oil and um, residue is burned off. You see it smoking right there? Um, and if it wasn't if it wasn't broad daylight out here and it was a little darker, this thing would be like hot red. red. Um, and we're going to take this bit and drill it in the concrete and show you how durable Right. Turn in blue. Yep. Ready? Hey, Jeff. Yeah. Go ahead, steps out. Show me how hot it is with the glove. You see it burning? Give him another hole. He's gonna cool it off real quick. There we go. So instantly cool it off. And as you can see, the full head is is in contact right now. So you can drill hundreds of holes with this now. Wow. That's after we we've, we've beaten the crap out of the bit, right? We we ground it down with an abrasive wheel, heated it up way past the limits it should go, um, and it's still just as good as what sort of street if not better. Cool. Thank you. So my goal of this video is to help you decide whether or not this Bosch Bulldog Extreme STS Plus concrete bit is right for you. So if this video has been helpful for you, I appreciate if you would give it a quick like and then also subscribe if you haven't yet. If you want to see more videos, click that bell icon to be notified of future upcoming tool review videos. All right, friends, thanks for watching. See you next time.